When talking about center of mass of point particles, this is the equation that you will use to find the center of mass. The capital M here is the total mass of the system, of all, th all objects, mass 1, mass 2, etc. X center of mass is the location of the center of mass. M1 is mass 1, X1 is the location of mass 1. M2 is the mass of object 2, X2 is the location of object 2, and etc. however many masses that you have. So to use this, let's say we have these three points, A, B, and C. And here's the properties of A, B, and C. Mass A is 3 kilograms. It's located at x equals 2, y equals 2, and so on for masses B and C. To use this, to locate the center of mass of the system, we need to find both the x and y coordinates of the center of mass. So to do that, let's start off and find the x coordinate. So we'll say mx center of mass equals ma xa plus mbxb plus mcxc. Okay, we have numbers for all of these things except the x center of mass. So to rearrange that we'll say x center of mass equals our ma xa plus mbxb plus mcxc all divided by the total mass, which if we plug in numbers for all that, x center of mass, we're going to get something that looks like this. Notice that I'm using the x coordinates of each mass. And our total mass at the bottom, we're going to have 3 plus 1 plus 1 kilograms. So our x center of x coordinate of center of mass is going to be located at 2. Perhaps this was 2 meters. Okay, so we'll use that. Now we need to find the y coordinate. Do the same thing. Um, thing we do our m y center of mass equals m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 which after rearranging will end up with the y center of mass equals very similar to the x center of mass equation. And we can plug in what we know here and we'll get um, something that looks like this. Now I'm using the y coordinates of the center of mass. It's always nice when one of them is zero, but one of them does not have to be zero. So our y coordinate of the center of mass is 1.4 meters. So our total center of mass is located at a coordinate of x equals 2, y equals 1.4. That is our answer. Now if you have a situation where you have not a point object or a point mass, but uh, a square perhaps, a uniform object, we'll talk about non-uniform objects later, but let's say we have a uniform object, or maybe a couple of uniform objects, uniform squares here, and we want to be able to find the center of mass of the system of two squares. Well, you can treat each object as if all of the mass of the object we're located directly at the center of the object. So what we can do then is we can say, well, instead of looking at squares, let's just look at a couple of points that have all the total mass of the square, but it's just in the center of the square. And that makes the problem a lot simpler. Because now we can say, here we have mass A, here we have mass B. Looks just like what we were doing. Squares look a lot harder than points do.